Hey everybody, this is Snook, and today I just wanted to stop and say hello. I uh, am trying out my camera after I dropped it. Uh, been having some problems with it. I need to get a hold of Canon. I was on hold with them for 40 minutes, and I finally hung up the phone. Uh, yeah. And about three days ago, I ended up waking up in the morning and finally my brain was working, was alive, it was awake, and I haven't felt that mentally awake in uh, over six months, uh, well over six months. And it was really eye-opening because I was getting really depressed um, because I would try to write things and there was nothing there. I just I had nothing. And I had a brand new camera that I've been wanting for years. And the thought of trying to figure out how to use it was just overwhelming to me and those are not typical me things I, I like a challenge I like learning new things I mean it's frustrating don't get me wrong but if it's something that it excites me and I can use to make my life easier and better and give make better quality posts and videos I'm I'm all for that and um, I even when I went down to mom's I took my camera with me and I made one video which is just not like me but my all I can say is my brain was asleep and three days ago I woke up and it was like the minute I woke up I felt alive uh, like and it was like waking up after a really long sleep and then it's kind of scary because I look around and yes I remember everything that I've done to the best of my ability because um, we all forget something but it was like looking around and seeing so many things started and half done and a quarter done and and I could see where I tried to organize things but didn't quite make it and I could see just by looking around me at how or why I was getting so depressed because my brain just wasn't processing like it normally does. And normally I would have like one, one to two, on a good week I would have three days where my brain is functioning. And it could be at odd times of the day, but I get it where it's, you know, I can problem solve, I can learn new things, I can set things up, I can get things going so that when I'm tired, then I can just reach over and grab what I need because it's right there. I hope that makes sense. And, but I haven't been able to do that. So, everything that I've been doing for the last at least six months has been a chore and I haven't been real proud of the things that I've done um, so I kind of stopped doing them and my post reflect that and everything was had to be forced and these are things that I've been wanting to do for a really long time and to have to force myself to do things that 
I've dreamt about and wanted to do just wasn't right. Wasn't sitting right with me. And when I woke up and my brain woke up, I realized that I couldn't have done any better than what I did. And I and with that handicap of my brain being asleep, I did pretty darn good. So, but yet, I had to fight with being depressed through all that. And because nothing was turning out how I wanted it to be, and everything was a struggle, and, I mean, little things, just everything, every little thing throughout my day was a struggle, and so you end up just sleeping, which is not right. But yet, the sleep I needed because my body was exhausted. And it was exhausted by putting up with the pain that I was in, but not having the... not being able to do something constructive to take my mind off the pain. So that's where life got really hard. And now it's been three days since I've woke up and mentally felt better but I'm looking around my house and I'm like I got like a year's worth of things that I need to get reorganized and caught up on and that's overwhelming and the scary part is is that if I don't get things set up so that it's second nature to use my camera that if my brain shuts down again for any length of time I'm going to have to start over at square one again if it ever wakes up and that not knowing is very scary and yet it's my lot in life to live like that, I guess. And all I can do is be happy and try to remember that feeling when I woke up and realized that there was a reason I couldn't get anything done fully that I couldn't follow through on so many things. Or if I did, they weren't, I wasn't proud of them because they weren't up to my personal standards. And it at least made me feel better that there was a reason. And it just wasn't because I was lazy or just didn't feel like it or was taking the easy way out. That when I was doing something, I was doing it and using every ounce of energy I could to push through to get something done. And I'm proud of that. I'm proud that I worked so hard at it and tried not to let what was happening to me totally devastate me, but yet it played a big toll on my life and makes me scared of the future of, again, what would, 
it, it, it came out of the blue and then it was getting better and then it came back again and is that going to keep happening over and over for the rest of my life so it puts a big perspective on uh, not holding getting things organized I guess so that the future me can relax if it happens again even if it's only for a little while so anyway I'm trying out my camera on this new angle seeing if it's working and yeah we'll see how it works we'll see how the video works and how the lighting looks and hopefully I can get it set up so that I can do some coloring and drawing and showing you some of my artwork and that and that is actually why I wanted to the camera too was so that I could focus clearly on what I was doing and showing you guys so it's just taken a lot longer than I ever thought it would so I will say have a wonderful day wherever you are in the world and I will see you next time bye